What are we talking about? Let's talk about our engagement night. Okay, you can go first. <laughs> I needed a, at least at least one martini to settle my nerves. Yes, because I gave you forewarning that it was expected that night. <laughs> I know. As soon as I walked in, your stepdad goes, John, do I need to keep the camera out? Are we expecting any announcements this evening? <laughs> Maybe one. But it was a clear indicator that everybody there was expecting something. And boy, was I nervous. <laughs> well, it's every woman's dream to have that dream proposal. And I tell you, it happened for me. <laughs> Here's all of my best family and friends that I grew up with, and the man that I love, and his daughter. And he rounds all of these people up into one room and gives a speech. You could tell he was nervous. His voice was quivering. All day I was trying to come up with something to say. <laughs> and it just goes right out of your brain yeah, on the spot. Completely. All I could think of was about three different things, and one of them was, will you marry me? <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. That was the main one. That was awesome. <laughs> but he tells all the people I grew up with that he knows that uh, they love me and have known me for a long time, and he hopes to love me for the rest of my life. And then he got down on one knee and proposed. And of course, half the room was crying, all the ladies, including myself. <laughs> I thought I was gonna cry. <laughs> Gave new meeting to Valentine's Day, because it was February 14th of this year, so. That's pretty special. We plan on getting married in Hawaii. He's from Hawaii. Our <laughs> wedding in Hawaii is gonna be a little, uh, a little bit different, I think. What do you think? I think it's going to be beautiful. Uh, I've got all kinds of ideas. You know, <laughs> from uh, barefoot on the beach to uh, under a waterfall to oh, ooh, Zen that's new to me. here. And right. Yeah. I'm There's game for all of tons it. Tons of places. <laughs> tons of things we can do, you know. And all of those people closest to us are going to make the trek. I figure I, I won't have to worry about flowers. They're naturally provided by the environment. Yeah. <laughs> Flowers are not going to be a problem. <laughs> what we have to watch out for is rain. Ooh. We're going to have to pick a spot where it doesn't rain ever. Right. Or bring a bunch of umbrellas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you love me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. Let me check with the ring. Mm. I love you, darling. You want to show the camera? It's, <laughs> it's blue, just like me and her. <laughs> Didn't even plan that. No, it happens almost every day. She kind of like picks my brain somehow. I'm a 37-year-old woman thinking I almost lost hope, thinking I wasn't going to find my prince out there. And then here he comes along and sweeps me off my feet. Everyone always says you're going to know instantly. I wasn't sure if I believed him or not, but now I do. And uh, it's it was instantaneous love, for sure. It pretty much was for me too, actually. I had uh, I kind of uh, let a lot of things go being a single father, you know, one of which was was uh, dating and, you know, all, all, everything that entails. Um, but when I met Shannon, it was a whole different story. You know, I just couldn't, couldn't turn away from that. <laughs> it's instantaneous. That's right. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Well, that's perfect. That's all I need, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding? You guys do a kiss. Is that it? Yeah. Got a kiss. Woohoo! Say your names Shannon Briner, John Nicholas Dorst. <laughs>